Grade 3 math, number 47. What is long division? Well, first of all, what is division? Division is when you're splitting a number into smaller equal groups. It's very important that they're equal groups. It is the opposite of multiplication. It's the inverse operation. Division this way, multiplication is that way. This sign is a sign for long division. And we're going to do some long division right now. So, let's take a look at this. Here's the parts of a division problem. The big number is the divisor, the little number is the div dividend, and the answer is the quotient. Okay? It's like quotient. See? Quotient. Quotient. Okay? So, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. We took 8 circles and divided it into 2 groups. The 4 is how many is in each group. Here's how it's the inverse of multiplication. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 2 equals 8. So division is going that way and multiplication is going that way. See? So here's how we would write it in long division. We would use our sign, okay, this, this bar sign right here, see? We put the big number, the dividend, on the inside. The number we're splitting it by, the divisor, goes on the outside here. And we ask ourselves, how many times can 2 fit into 8? How many 2's are inside of 8? There's 4 of them. And then we say 2 times 4, see? 2 times 4 is 8, and we put the answer down here, okay? So it goes here, and we subtract this 8. 8 take away 8 is 0. See how we did that? So let's try another one. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. We have 15 circles. We divide it into 3 groups, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in each group. See that? 15 divided by 3 equals 5 is the same thing as 5 times 3 equals 15. See? It's a fact family. This is how we would write it as long division. We put the big number, the 15, goes inside here. This number, the dividend, goes on the outside here. And the answer, the quotient, goes up on the top. Now, because it's only a 5, it's in the 1's place, right? It's not a 35 or a 95, it's just a 5. So that's in a 1's place. So that's going to go in the 1's place here, see? Look, let me explain it a better way. Can 3 go into 1? No. You can't put, can't put 3 inside of a 1, but can you put 3 inside of a 15? Yes. So because we had to use the entire 15, the answer goes above the 5. If we could have fit it in a 1, then the answer would have gone up here, okay? So, 3 times 5, okay, is 15. We put that here, we do our subtraction, and we get 0. So it's the same thing as 5 times 3 equals 15, but backwards, see? Big number, the dividend goes on the inside, the divisor goes on the outside, and the quotient goes on the top. Let's try another one. 25 divided by 5 equals 5, because 5 times 5 equals 25. See? The fact family? So, this is how it would be written. The 25 would be inside this box. See? 5 goes into 25 5 times. It doesn't go into the 2. It goes into the 25. And that's why it goes above the 5. 5 times 5 is 25. We write the answer down here, we do our subtraction, and we get 0. Let's try another one. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. It's the same thing as 3 times 9 equals 27. See? Fact family. The big number, the dividend, goes on the inside, the divisor goes on the outside, and the quotient goes up on the top. Can 9 fit into 2? No. Can it fit into 27? Yes. So that's why the 3 goes above the 7. 9 times 3 is 27. We do our subtraction and we get 0. See that? Let's try this one. 
18 divided by 3 equals 6. It's the same thing as 6 times 3 equals 18. See? It's going the other way. Because division is the opposite of multiplication. It is the inverse operation. Okay? So it's going the other way. So, dividend goes on the inside. The divisor is the thing we're dividing it by. It goes on the outside, and the quotient goes on top. 3 times 6 is 18, and it comes down here. 18 take away 18 is 0. Now, one way that I remembered how to do this was what I called rubs. Okay? You go right into the number. You put the answer up here. So you go right, then you go up. Then you go below. You put the answer below. And then you subtract. See? Rubs. You go right, you go up, you go below, and you subtract. See? So if you can remember rubs, then you'll remember the order of how to do the long division. We're going to be doing more long division in the future. We'll be doing it with much bigger numbers. But what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be discussing how you can use repeated subtraction to figure out an answer. See you in the next video. Bye.